completing a Stuart triple expansion engine part 58. In this episode I wanted to show the fitting of a steam tap and a displacement lubricator but there was a problem with one of the parts and in the end I didn't like the look of it anyway. I am showing the sealing of the steam piping and exhaust manifold which was quite a messy job but the engine is now steam tight and that is always a good thing on a steam engine. This clip shows the displacement lubricator and the steam tap arrangement. And the more I looked at it, the more I didn't like it. The steam tap is from PM Research, and although it's quite a good steam tap, I just thought that the body of it looked over scale. This is the part where I was figuring out how to mount things. I'd initially made an adapter which went into the steam chest. This adapter that I made was quarter by 40 threads per inch to screw into the steam chest and 5 sixteenths by 32 at the other end to connect the airline. I'm about to show something that you really shouldn't do. So why am I doing it? Well, it's just quicker and I've done a lot of this sort of thing over the years and I can drill holes fairly accurately. I covered the mechanical parts of the engine with an old rag but of course some chippings will get into the steam chest which is not much of a problem because they clear almost immediately to exhaust. The minute any steam gets in there, the engine gets a thorough wash anyway. But just to make sure I don't get any silly comments, I'm using a vacuum cleaner to vacuum away any particles. Now it's time to thread the hole using a 5 16 by 32 threads per inch taper tap. Why a taper tap? Well, it fits in the hole more accurately. It's easier to centralise it in the hole. It doesn't stress out the metal that I'm tapping the hole into. Once I tapped the hole using the taper tap, it was obviously tapered. So I used a plug tap or a bottoming tap, as they're also known, to go all the way through the hole so that it was parallel. While I'm doing this, I would just like to mention something. I received a comment from a viewer saying, on the last video, you sounded a bit down. Is everything okay? This comment wasn't from one of my Patreon supporters. It was from a viewer who watched the video on YouTube. He mustn't have been aware that the YouTube videos arrive later than the Patreon ones. I watched this video, and I didn't particularly sound miserable on it, even though it was from the day when I received my prostate cancer results which is always good for making you sound slightly less enthusiastic than usual. I would like to take this opportunity to apologise to the viewer for sounding a bit down, as he put it. I am not a machine, and there are certain things in life, like viewers who make stupid comments, that annoy me. But it's only mild annoyance and despair at some of the people in the world. Apparently, the prostate cancer that I have is operable, for the moment anyway. I've passed the three score and ten lifespan by one year. Here, by the grace of God, go I. I can carry on the voiceover with renewed enthusiasm. And now, dear viewers, I threaded the T-piece to take the displacement lubricator, and I did this in situ as well, just because it was easier and it didn't move around when I was threading the hole. In this part of the clip, I've threaded the hole and I'm fitting the displacement lubricator. The thread on this is quarter by 32 threads per inch. And you may have noticed that I just used some Loctite 542 to seal the thread. The nut on the end of the T-piece is what I used to tighten the T-piece into the steam chest. Now I've removed this and fitted the airline in position. Time, I think, for a quick slow motion run. There's not really much left to do, but what is left to do are very important jobs. I need to seal the exhaust manifold against the cladding, and I need to seal the cladding against the engine. But first I need to thread the exhaust manifold, quarter by 32, so I'll be able to fit a pipe to carry away the exhaust. This clip is running at a higher speed. I did thread it at a much slower speed. The threading process always throws a burr up around the hole. 
So here I'm removing it using a piece of wet to dry sandpaper. I fitted these nuts to these pieces of studding using Loctite 603 and I think I overdid it. There's too much sticking out. Simple fix, hold the part in a pair of pliers because it's going to get hot as I heat it with a small blowtorch and then wind the nut out to where you want it. And with a bit of luck when it cools it will still be held in position by the Loctite 603. This is a modern version of plumber's jointing. Why it is called Jet Blue Plus I don't know because it isn't blue. It's sort of a yucky yellowy colour. To apply the jointing I'm using a much sharper than it needs to be almost new Stanley knife blade. I coat the blade and persuade the stuff to go in behind the cladding and I also apply some to the manifold too. When the exhaust manifold is bolted to the cylinder block it holds the cladding in place which in turn squeezes out some of the sealant. I'll wipe this off shortly. What I'm interested in is whether it still leaks or not. There's an easy way to find out. Well that seems to be ok, time now to turn the engine round to seal all of the link piping between the cylinders. I really do hope I haven't sounded too miserable in this episode. The good news is I think I'm going to go for a treatment called brachytherapy where they plant radioactive seeds in the prostate which kills the cancer. I'm expecting a hospital appointment early in 2024. The other benefit of brachytherapy, being radioactive particles placed in my body, is I will probably glow in the dark. So looking on the bright side, this should save the cost of batteries for my torch. And on that note, I would just like to say, stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.